Hello everybody, it's me, Strategist Primus, and I'm back with a little more Heathen Horde. Uh, these next four episodes are going to be recorded mostly simultaneously as I try to give the series the kind of a wrap-up it deserves. Um, the reasons why we're wrapping up is largely because there's been a couple of updates to a whole bunch of mods, and I want to get on more current versions such that what I'm playing better reflects CK2 Plus at the moment, and the Game of Thrones mod as well. Um... Also because I feel like we've done quite a lot in the series, and it's gone on for, you know, we're a couple hundred, we're about a hundred years in? No, sorry, 43 years? Yeah, 67, sorry, I have to keep thinking that the early start is um, 800, not midway through the 800s. <clears throat> These things happen. The pox has finally left us from last episode, thank God, and uh, we're still threatening. Which is not good. Also, our long-time... I wouldn't quite call them allies, but... Allies. Uh, the Avarings have gone Christian on us, which is not good. Good news is, his kids are not. So we need to murder him off quickly. Yes, I know what you're saying. Why would we murder him? Well, he's a Christian, and we need to make sure that... Pagans stay or... Oh, just murder him already. <laughs> <laughs> yep, CK2. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd love more levy. Thank you. The good news is, even though much of southern England has fallen to the Carolingians, I have a sneaking suspicion the Carolingian Empire is going to fall apart eventually. It usually falls apart before the year 1000. Uh, to be clear, these next couple of episodes might uh, skip over some time, and might fast forward in pieces. Um, this is just to make the flow of the series go a bit easier and give you guys the kind of satisfying end to a series feel. You know, we either will succeed and be emperor, or eventually enough years will pass and or we'll have to turn Christian, in which case I will call the series off. Um, I hate to do it, but there's such a thing as too much of a good thing. That being said, we have finally risen the um, runestone in memory of our father, Goofreed the Butcher. Quite an amazing man. Um, we leave the stone contented with the knowledge that many centuries from now, when the paint has long since faded, scholars will study the rune carvings in an effort to glean the wisdom of their words. A bunch of prestige, a bunch of piety, and we gain the wonderful tr uh, sub-trait, which is raising a rune stone, which does a lot of goodness. A couple of diplomacy and some prestige things. Nothing too game-breaking. But it helps. Alright. If the Carlinage Empire was to split up today, you're under the Jarlum of Holland, which means, yes, they're still Nordic Pagan. Meaning that they would love to break off. If given the chance. And probably even do it from the Burgundians. Means I'm going to go make him a uh, important there, such that we keep updated about him and his family. Well, the reason why I'm doing that is I want to make sure that I know that they're still paid. Uh, my concubine is pregnant. Sadly, I lost my younger two sons. Both pneumonia, which just tells you what time period it is. <clears throat> Has that daughter in the middle. Is going to get a stewardship education because she's already decent at it and has the right traits. Um, we've married into the Alpha Moon, so it's a lot. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Petty King of Iceland. Largely because I feel like I've been neglecting Iceland in the series. Uh, wonderful place. And uh, partially because it's there. Why not? Alright, we need to make a buttload of money. Because I want to go be try to become an emperor. And to do that, we need money. Quite a lot of money. Thousand gold. Plus, we would need to keep, create a kingdom already. I'm kind of favoring creating the Kingdom of Denmark in case something terrible happens, is that way we can just lose these pieces and move on with our lives. Um, that being said, I think I'll first create Cornwall. Cost 100 gold? Never mind. That's not worth it. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a little scratchy at the start of this. I've already been doing a lot of talking today. Discovery chance plus 10. Oh, wonderful. 
Thank you. Alright. Got the guys together. Let's get somebody, not me, to lead them. You're not me. Uh, he's needed elsewhere. He's not. There we go. And let's uh, go raiding. Uh, and two should we raid? Oh, well. He's Christian and has part of my land, so let's go burn it. Do I need better reasons? I don't think so. I couldn't care less, but I'd rather have a brave nobody than a dullard for nobody. Uh, we have quite enough courtiers, and prestige is far more valuable, at the moment at least. You're not important. There should be a button for I don't care. <clears throat> you know, somewhere in here there should just be a yeah, don't care. Uh, again. Huh. The satyr is accusing the lusty woman of ch having cheated on him. I mean, probably. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, locker in the stock. I couldn't care less. It gives me prestige. I'm still a duchy over the size that I would like to be at. Oh, right. My bastard nephew. I forgot all about you. It's a bastard niece, too, now. <sighs> really? You're not doing the family name well here. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as it would be if we were Christian, but it's kind of bad. So we're responsible for raising them. All right, they got us money. Good. I like money. Let's now go raid the Welsh, because tis the season. All right, get some more men, just in case the Welsh determine to come fight us. Like they probably will in a minute. Ah, she's actually become okay. Marry off to a nobody fame. Sounds about right. Just just get out of my court. We don't need you. Alrighty. You inherited Suffolk. I was a created nobody. Okay, good. I'm like, my Suffolk? No, 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 no. It's not mine. Good. Ingeld half dancing. Yes, I can pronounce that. It's kind of terrifying. My spy master is gone for some reason. Probably the usual reason. Don't do that. You're my friend after all, I think. Well, not quite, but he's 94 approval of me. He's a spy master. He's pretty damn good. Plus, I wanted to keep him happy. Uh, let's not torture the bishop just yet. Wait for a lot of time. Which I don't see in my options. Strange. Ransom, we need money anyway. Such are the decisions you have to make in this game. My granddaughter. Good job, sunny boy. See my error? No, Goofried is. Of course, another Goofried. Well, this one is nowhere near as awesome. We'll have to fix that. King Galdefer of Stugger will die of poison wine at a banquet. Well, I'm sorry, Gandalf, but you have to die if you're Christian. Go away. Okay, it's War Games time. This will be fun. Okay, cool. Frontal assault towards my center flank. Well, I'm going to slowly withdraw my forces and try and envelop them. Uh, for Odin, boom, and DI yeah, beat him. Strange. It's like I know strategy. Huh. Might just be my name. I don't know. Let's whack that. And we killed him. Good. And they're almost pagan again. Very good. Uh, sacrifices for Odin. That 
it's just like the theme of this video, isn't it? Ah, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. And another Earl of Suffolk, well, sorry, Sussex instead of Suffolk at this time dies. Uh, impress me, child. Okay. You lack focus. I, I don't care. You're, you're being martial. I'm still threatening. Jeez, okay. Pretty soon I'll have enough money to splurge in getting that second kingdom title that I'll need. Maybe I'll just sit on it. A giant pile. And I lose a grandson to pneumonia. Gotta love the 900s. Just keep raiding, raiding, raiding. It's like they don't know what to do with me. And more sacrifices for Odin. And let's screw him up. We have way more men. So he is in a defensive position. Yeah, no, he doesn't go nowhere. I need a new seer. Lucky me. Oh no, we became greedy. Come on, get diligent. God damn it. So is our kid. Come on, take the thing already. Take it, I say. Another priest down. How many dead priests this is? Hmm. Which in here seems to be tall. It's a good trait. Quite like it. Come on, come on. More sacrifices for Odin. And yet another one dies. I I love that sound. Um, okay, let's keep going. Can I get this piece? Make me very happy. Come on, get it. There we go. More sacrifices to Odin. And more raiding. I'm pretty sure the series name should just be and just keep raiding. And away we go. <clears throat> Raid this piece. I don't care about her. That's depressing. Yes, we're ra raiding a pagan now. I do not care. It has money, maybe. Diligent. There we go. And no, I, I don't really care about her, but making people diligent is fun. I would be happy to grant you this reward, but frankly, I don't like you. Um, take your prisoner at once. Boom. And burn the village. And let's keep reading the Dutch. Dutch, Welsh. I don't know why I keep saying Dutch. Well, probably because the Dutch came and stole my <coughs> territory. But, you know, since when did that make me angry? Always. Hmm. He wants to have a claim on Wessex now. Interesting. Very interesting. Don't know. 
don't feel about that. And it's time to ransom off that goatee. This dude I couldn't care less about. So could they, so let's just whack him. Or feed him to a bear. Okay, yeah. That's totally the same thing. They try to convert me again, this time with somebody of Monmouth. With which. I like that it's Monmouth, but at the same time, let's just whack him. Or, you know, farm for money. Uh, great idea. 500 ducats. You ducats. Eh. Wealth. Hack silver. Hack silver. Should be locked in the stock. Again. Uh, I don't care. You're halfway across the world, even though I like you. False accusations. Again. I don't care. I just realized I betrothed a 14-year-old to a 63-year-old. Eh, these things happen. Oh, uh, yep, she deserves greatness. There we go. I apparently have lost my bravery. That's not good. I shall endeavor to go get that back. And let's raise the Mercian men, because I have a funny feeling we're going to need to smack the Welsh again. Just funny feelings. Clearly. And he got better at fighting people. Alright, there we go. Make them both raiders. Put them together. And just get ready to keep pillaging whales. Hasting, I don't care about you. Alright, let's take a minute to look at that Irish revolt. They seem to have taken Desmond off of them. Well, Desmond and Kerry, which is County Desmond. I keep having to cough up more damn chaplains. For reasons I do not understand. Oh shit, she's my daughter-in-law. Oh well. I've inherited Chester Tribe. Well, I have to fix that. Yeah, you... Um, not happening. You need to get upgraded. Uh, I'm probably going to give it all off to somebody else later, but I want to make sure that it's the right kind of a thing. I'm now too over the limit. We'll fix that later. Uh, and then another damn son getting ill. As we pick up a Mandy by the name of Bonga, who seems to be decent in stewardship, but not much else. My court physician has become renowned. Ake the goldsmith Hamrick. The house Hildra. And he has a son named Alfir, who is both quick and strangely left handed. He's quick. Eh, it's a good family to have serving us. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Yes, I remember him now. That's the court physician I gave Landon Ireland. Just because... Okay, yeah. Oh. He apparently died a natural death at... 45. That's a little young. Um... Rip Hasting. Sorry, half Dan. Not half Stain. Why is it have stay? Uh, be right back on that one. Alrighty, now we gotta see what the world is like for the moment. I am the king, and I hold on to you both, Jorvik. Just Jorvik. Uh, my half brother is run off of Lancaster, and he is the far better warrior. And my other brother is the Earl of Warwick. Thane of Warwick, sorry. And my youngest brother has Stafford. Well, first things first, this dude needs to find his way to a council, and the only way to do that is to make him marshal. That's not good. My wife really doesn't like me.
because I have legitimized bastards and I'm apparently unfaithful. Who knew? I didn't. I have two lovers who are one's a commander and one's uh, her. Let's uh, break up with her because that's just dumb. And uh, yeah, let's let's just not. And this is a legitimized bastard. Game, what are you doing? If you struggle with him though. Alrighty. Objectives. I want money. Lots of it. I'm still gonna focus on combat because it's the good thing to do. My lover is the awesome commander. Great! What could possibly go wrong? Uh, no. Go away. <laughs> there we go. I would do the same thing with the other one, but quite frankly... She's technically the mother of the heir. First things first. The proper thing game that you should in in game if they ever do this to you 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 um uh, for, first up you you make them as your concubine such that they're no longer making bastards and then you uh well if they're also good you uh make them a shield maiden uh and you just deal with it <laughs> oh boy we're being seduced again this time by a cumbrian uh, uh i i don't care you, anybody? No, I, I don't care. Let's go try to have more heirs. Oh, right. We need a coronation. Who am I forgetting? And there's blood again. Good. It's back. I don't know what happened. I look forward to it. Yes, we're spending a bit of money, but you gotta spend money to make money. He's gonna perform it. First up, his name is Gandalf, so, of course. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go again. Uh, Mercia's not showing up. Lots of people aren't showing up. Great. Uh, our name is Goofried. There is neither nor a traditional dynastic name nor a more prestigious name. We are Goofried the Second. And I've been crowned. I'm apparently proud. Great. Somebody delivered an awesome poem, and he had a powerful voice, so you know it was a great poem. And well delivered, too. Uh, oh boy. No, let me on. Uh, confront him, he's a nobody. General rule, confronting people who are nobodies. Nothing's gonna really happen. She says, long may you reign. I don't care, because she's also a nobody. Time to keep raiding. More raiding equals more money. Good news is the court faction still loves me. So it's free prestige every once in a while. Oh, boy. The bad news is... My brothers are beginning to be influential in things. Which is not good at all. One moment. Don't we have things for buying them off with? How do I give him an item? It's here somewhere, I'm sure. Gift artifact, yes. Well, clearly he needs the plus two axe. Enjoy. It'll make him hate us a little less. And make him better killing us when time comes, but eh. Time hasn't come yet. The APs are great. Uh, let's just, uh, <clears throat> uh, bullshit our way through this to get a higher learning score. Uh, let's be an inspiring leader, because it sounds about right. Do have 16 martial, even though we are kind of terrible. 
But the sad news is, is my wife was actually shrewd and like a decent person, decent traits to have. Eh, who cares? We have claims of investigation. Oh no, we don't. Our kids would. Right. That's gonna be a problem. What a splendid idea. Get a little free health right there. Alrighty, they're coming for us. Good. Ah, he could use some guidance. Show him some bravery. There we go. I could use more men. Just in case. I think we got this stuff. I said it. I said I think I got this, and they just fucked up on me. Uh, nope, they get. We won the day. Barely. I totally never doubted them. They're totally about to just lose it. And this nobody has turned out to be somebody. Not like, you know, a major somebody, but somebody. Somebody enough for that. Crodor. Oh, wow, he's actually pretty good. Let's go down here and fix my commanders. Strangely, he only barely makes it. Fix some of these things. Make people like me a little more. Be a scout. You, be my scout. You're the one who delivered that amazing poem after all. Over. Why not? Last speaker. You. You. There we go. That'll work for now. The court is discontent for this because we had a secession. They're always annoyed after that. Something about there being a new king in charge. I still don't like how the previous two just plunked over dead at 45. <sighs> CK240. Sometimes you'll have kings live to be 80. Sometimes you'll have kings that just die at 50. It's like, really? Game. I want more years out of him. Okay. Back to the grind. Look at this thing here. Yes. All right. Not bad for a first episode with this sort of a cause. As you can tell, we are busily trying to make more money. We've raised quite a bit in one episode here. And a couple more, we will see if we have enough to become an emperor. That is the point of the series at this point. We're trying to buy ourselves another kingdom title, probably Denmark. Uh, let our vassals go crazy, which they are, of course are doing all the time. As the Jarl of Seglin just wants to take over Prussia for me. Like, I'm not going to complain. Um, totally none of my doing. For all we know, we're going to colonize more of Ireland. Uh, that being said, thank you all for watching. I'll be back in the next one with more Heathen Horde. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you guys. See you guys. Wow, I can't talk.